Good day guys, it's me Nate, back with another DCS tutorial video. Today we're going to do something a little bit unusual. We're going to do something called over-the-shoulder bomb tossing. Now, um, the Big Train one is not a particularly good bomber. It's not got the bomb sights or um, bombing equipment attached for it. The nose isn't particularly a good uh, design. Uh, visibility is not particularly great. But, um, I mean, you, you still have to do, you know, if you get permission to carry out bombing runs, you still have to try and do it. Um, so there's only really three ways of doing this in the Victory One. One is to do a, a dive bomb, which is coming from the top down, but that leaves you particularly vulnerable to AAA fire, A fire, and um, SAMs because you're a station, a relatively stationary target from the, the target's perspective, and you're normally very high up to do so. The other way is to, is to dive toss it. Now dive tossing it involves you zooming towards the target and then pulling up at a certain point in time to let the bombs carry on. Um, its own inertia, due to its own inertia, uh, a parabola to hit the target. But the problem with this is, of course, is that even this, you still have to be reasonably high up to do so. So there is a third way, and I've looked, and this came up in a, in a video the other day on YouTube, uh, where someone was using an I, in I, a, a saber in IL-2 to do an over-shoulder bomb toss. Um, you fly as close as possible to the Earth, and you fly over the target, and you pull up, and when you just pass the vertical, about 110 degrees, you release the bombs, and the bombs will carry on through a half loop, and fall down back onto itself, onto the target. Um, I thought this was kind of a baseless uh, technique, until I did actually come across a little um, document labeled in the uh, Ospreys uh, or Jane's MiG-21s as a, an actual bombing technique along with dive tossing for nuclear bombs so this is apparently a legitimate bombing technique uh, to MiG-21 pilots. I'm not sure how successful this was or if it's even widely used uh, back then other than maybe just a paper thing but yeah, we're gonna give it a crack. I've got two 500 kilo bombs which are not textured as you can see. That's the orange with big warning sign saying warning not textured. Um, and there's an airfield ahead of us, as you can see. We're going to try and put these two bombs onto the hangar. Um, so, yeah, we're going to try and stay below a thousand feet, if possible, uh, 300 meters, and we're going to try and maintain at least a, a, th a thousand and fifty kilometers per hour, which is the listed speed on that document about this technique. I won't go over all the techniques. Uh, sorry, the uh, the checklist stuff. I just want to see to demonstrate and show you guys how it's. Uh, done approximately. I mean, I'm not going to guarantee I'm going to hit the target because I've done this about a dozen times now. I think I've got the target once. Um, this is very inaccurate and kind of understandable why this was never really uh, a successful and widely used uh, technique. But yeah, anyway, so here we go. Let's give it a crack. So I want to make sure we are maintaining that speed, which is a thousand of as I said. Now, the important the important uh, thing will be when, was when you pull over the target, you pull up, you keep your wings level because if you if you your half loop is warped in any way, then the bombs will continue at that path as well, and so it actually uh, makes it even worse. So you really want to make sure when you're pulling up in that loop that your wings are level the through all the way. So I'm gonna keep an eye on that artificial horizon uh, as we, as I go through the loop and make sure it's level as possible. Now I want to pull up as the pip right I, is over the target ish and just before it dips on the nose that's the ideal anyway so let's just power through here there's that building ahead of us now Pipper's getting close Pipper's getting close there's the pepper we're gonna get pull up make sure wings are level wings are straight level 40 degrees 50, 60, 70. Now the wings will start to lose it here because you are going vertical. 90, and release. And you can see those bombs go away. So we're now bombs free. So you can see now we're actually able to zoom away nicely and, and fast. And you know, at this point, we're checking chaff and flares out like a good pilot should, but what our focus is the bombs. So let's see if our bombs are really So you can see it, it is actually arcing. Uh, you can kind of see actually that my arc half loop wasn't perfect, but it looks like it might get pretty close. Uh, there it goes. I can sort of tell they're not going to be that close, but one of them might be. Let me make sure the plane hasn't crashed yet. Let's get this loop around. Let's look at it from here. Because it's always cool watching things explode from the cockpit.
Let's try it out. I see how those bombs are doing. So they, they were kind of close. They're, they're, and this is about as accurate as I've managed to get, really, which is probably a few hundred meters from the, uh, from my my uh, my intended target. But like I said, this is not a widely uh, known technique. But I really only did it just to demonstrate to you guys how it would be done. Not that I could do it, because as you can see, I'm actually quite bad at it. But there you go, over the shoulder bomb technique. Um, if you guys have any uh, successes, you know, put them in the comments below. I'd love to see if someone else do it properly, uh, rather than my abysmal attempt at it. But um, yeah, hopefully I'll be back soon with some more videos, or some more a little, other little uh, nifty techniques. Uh, I think I'm going to try and do some air to air combat soon. So hopefully some air to air combat with the MiG-21 and a little bit, a few tips and hints on how this would work against the more modern Prometheus 15. All right, guys, well, until next time, uh, have a good one. All right, hope you uh, get some more successes than I have in these over-the-shoulder techniques. All right, see you guys.